Rejection's the big one too. It's fear of rejection. People are afraid of just showing up as themselves that people aren't going to like that. They're not going to accept them. And and all yeah. of that just affects how they talk to people. And I think for, for me, like the, there's a big thing there that I've kind of embraced around just reframing that rejection. And like, for me, that rejection now is a positive thing because yeah. it's somebody who I shouldn't have been working with, who I've pushed away. And that's a positive thing because, you know, even people get tied down to this idea that I've got a target audience and they work very hard to identify the target audience. And that's lovely. Great. We should be doing a lot of work on that and constantly refining that because that, that target audience can move over time as you and your business moves. Yeah. But then they think that that whole target audience is their entire market. And they think that they have to market to everybody within that target audience. No, there is a subset of people within that who align with you as a person, align with your personality and your way of thinking, have a similar experience and background or one that marries into that nicely. And who, if you sign them as a client, will never ever leave you unless something happens that forces them to leave you. 